My name is Helen Harkreeder, and I'm here representing Texas Impact in support of the bill. Thank you. I'm a registered nurse with a PhD in adult health nursing and have spent most of my career um, as an educator of nurses. Um, but I am here today to testify as a representative from the faith community and of Texas Impact. I recently participated in visiting the juvenile justice facilities in Travis and Bear County. I was surprised to learn that over two-thirds of the juveniles retained in these facilities required psychotropic medications. So I did some further reading on the topic and I discovered that over half of the youth in Texas who are referred to the juvenile justice system have previously experienced traumatic events such as violence, neglect, abuse, threats, humiliation, or deprivation. From the perspective of the faith community, justice is not just about punishment for crimes. It's about the creation of the opportunity to change. The children who are victim of the ills of our society need to know they can't break the law, but they also need the opportunity for redemption. I support Senate Bill 1356 not only as a means of saving money and protecting public safety, but with the hope that it will put in place one means through which as a society we can help heal these youth, prevent reincarceration, and give them hope for a better future. By providing training and trauma-informed care, we're offering juvenile justice staff a different lens through which they can view the behavior of the juvenile offenders. Understanding behavior is then expected to lead to actions which will prevent disruptions in acting out behaviors, thus reducing the need for isolation and restraint as punishment uh, which will create a safe environment for all the detainees. The training should include understanding of trauma and its effects, de-escalation techniques, and the identification of trauma reactions and triggers. The youth will have a better chance to learn control of their own behavior and gain skills which will help not only the group life in the detention center, but help the offender adjust to life when released from prison which of course would then provide the desired effects of, to society of saving money and protecting the public. We know that punishment-oriented programs are not effective in reducing recidivism, yet we are not comfortable yet with rehabilitation as the goal of incarceration. I would argue that rehabilitation is ultimately the only goal that makes sense for at least the majority of the detainees in the juvenile justice system. If over half of them are there because of their response to traumatic events in their lives, then society has failed them and has at least some obligation to provide the opportunity for rehabilitation. And that means the staff needs training and practice in recognizing and responding to the behaviors that result from these traumatic events. I urge you to pass House Bill, uh, Senate Bill 1356 at least as a means to reduce disciplinary incidences and punitive sanctions in the juvenile detention centers, but with the long-range goal of reducing recidivism in this population. Thank you. 